Currency Converter is an extension for WP Travel Engine that lets you convert the trip price between multiple currencies at one go. With the add-on, you can also enable the Geolocate feature to automatically detect your user's location and display the trip price in relevant currency. In this video, I will walk you through the entire installation and setup process of the Currency Converter add-on. I will also show you how to use this add-on on your travel website. Please note that Currency Converter requires WP Travel Engine plugin version 4.0.5 or later installed and activated on your website. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Go to Plugins, click on Add New, click on Upload Plugin, click on Choose File, select the zip file, click on Open, click on Install Now, click on Activate Plugin. The Currency Converter add-on has now been successfully installed and activated. Next up, go to WP Travel Engine and click on Plugin License. Enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Click on Save Changes. Click on Activate License. The license key is now activated. The main idea behind activating the add-on license is to receive regular updates from our team. Now, let's configure the global settings of this add-on. From under WP Travel Engine, go to Settings. Go to Extensions, select Currency Converter. The first option is to either enable or disable the add-on without having to actually disable the plugin to temporarily stop the plugin feature. We will come to the rest of the settings in a while. First, you have to add in the API key. You can get a free or premium API key to Currency Converter API for pulling the currency rates and converting it when currency is switched. You simply can click on the links here. You can either get the free API key or the premium API key. I have already received my API key, so I will place it here. Then you can select the license type as free or premium accordingly. Now, scroll down to Add Currency. From here, you can add the supported currency. Simply click on Add Currency. Then click here. You can select one of the currencies from the drop-down option. So for example, if you select United Arab Emirates Dirham, it will automatically generate the currency rate as it is showing on the screen. Further. You can also refresh, you can remove and sort the currencies with the help of the sort handle. Let's add some more currencies. Click on add currency, then let's follow the same process. As you keep on adding the currencies, the currency rates will be generated automatically. Then there is also the Update All Rates option. If you click on this button, the currency rate of the added currencies will update automatically all at once. So after this, let's click on Save and Continue. Now let's go to our site in the front end. And here you can see the currency converter. If your visitors go to book any kind of trip, they will have the option to convert into different currencies as it is showing on the screen right now. Now 
Let's go back. Now we will explore the rest of the settings. From here, you can enable the sticky currency switcher. From our side, this is the sticky currency switcher. If you disable this option, scroll down and click on save and continue. Come back, give it a refresh. This will not be shown anymore. Let's go back and we will enable this option. Another option is to show currency converter before booking calendar. If you go back to our site, this is the currency converter drop down before the booking calendar on our trip page. So if you choose to disable the option, click on save and continue, come back, give your site a refresh and it will not be shown anymore. On the contrary, the floating currency converter is now being displayed after you enabled it from here. You can select the currency converter title from here. Then you have the option to enable or disable the geolocate. If you enable this option, it pulls the user location and displays the currency to that location by default. So let's click on save and continue. Let's go back to our site. Now I'm in Nepal. Now when I give my site a refresh, and here you can see the Nepalese rupee being displayed. The geolocate option has automatically pulled the user location. And as you can see, the rates are also showing in Nepalese rupees. Let's go back to the dashboard. Another option is to enable auto update rate. Enabling this option enables auto rate updates. After you are done making all of the changes, you can click on save and continue. Then you can come back to the site and give it a refresh. So that was it. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Or you can directly reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in our next video.